Uh, what I want to show you today is Oscar's got some really, really thick fur. He's some sort of doodle. She didn't know a mix, and so, um, but I'm pretty sure he's a doodle. But what I want to show you most of all is the difference in when you're working with fur like this, especially with heavy, thick fur, matted, um, hard to get through. First of all, you're always going to want to use a 30, and Andy's 30 on that, because you get the closest cut with that. You'll get through things that a 10 won't get through. But I want to show you the difference in the guard blades, because I use uh, these metal guard blades by Wall. I really like them a lot. I've used the plastic ones by Andy's. I've used other brands. These are just great. They're, they're uh, clip-ons. This is what I call a military cut. This is the purple number four. This is what I call a summer cut. This is the blue number two. And then our third one is a puppy cut, which is your orange number one. <coughs> so you got your puppy, summer, military. On his fur, I'm going to show you with a puppy. So, so, so somebody says, I want my dog, I want him to have a puppy cut, Angie. I say, oh, okay, well, let me just check this out here. Here's his arm. Here's one of his arms I've already started on. And I got smart and decided I was going to change things up a bit. I'm going to turn him to the side. I want you to see over here, Luke, because now we're working on this back leg that's really difficult. All that thick fur. Here's your puppy cut. I'm going to go on up with that. I want you to see the struggle. You see the struggle I'm running into? That's not going to stop, by the way. That's going to be all the way through. So now you have to say, okay, puppy cut's out of the question. doesn't matter what you want to pay me. Puppy cut's out of the question because this is her dog who has to also get through this. So now we've flipped on. Oh, I didn't show you how to do that. You just push them forward, pull them off. They snap on. They're spring-loaded. If you break that spring, they're pretty much shot. If you bend these, you got to get them back in place perfectly, or they'll catch on your on your comb and um, break the teeth on your on your blade. Sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna snap this on. Just pull it forward, push it on. This is our summer. Okay, so she says, "Okay, well, how about a summer cut then?" But she doesn't understand what this dog has to go through. Here's our summer. Go ahead and start that. And here we go again, right? So I'm moving a little better, but not really great. And do I want all of this struggle and scooping? Because it's just going to keep going on. There's our areas that are worse than this. So I say, hmm, well, that's what a summer cut brought him to, right? And you saw the struggle getting there. So let's go ahead and pop that one off and go, what would a military cut? How much quicker would this go with my number four? So I'm going to just snap that on. And now watch. <laughs> Here I'm going to start a little lower even. What I want to do with this foot is take it down one way to get that surface hair off that I'm coming up. Wow. Look at that. That's just using a closer guard blade. The blade's going to cut no matter, right? You know that blade will take the fur off. All you got to do is get the blade close to the skin so it can do it without skinning or shaving the dog. So here we go. Same area that I was on with the other blade. Now I'm on a military. Look at this. We're going nice and smooth. He's still keeping his coat. It's not going to be as long as she wants it to be, but that's her responsibility as a dog <coughs> owner uh, to get him in a little bit sooner so that it's easier for him and for the groomer to get that job done. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. Let me get his foot. It brings it in a little closer. You see that mat right there? I was fighting with that a while ago. That's why I, I decided to stop what I was doing and show you. So here's my military blade. And I don't want to pull too much on him. He's going to get aggravated, but look at that. Now those other two guard blades, I would have never gotten through that with those. I'm probably going to have to come back around and shave that off. But I wanted to, sh to show you the difference in guard blades. Because that really makes a huge difference in how easy it is to get the grooming job done and get through the fur. And then the difference in the lengths anyway. So you'd have a big difference between your puppy cut and your military cut. But there's not much of one between the summer and the military. So if you're struggling too bad with a summer number two then move on to your number four all right we're going to put that in somewhere thank you